What's up guys, Roger Parker here, and today I have a very special guest. It's Janet Jacobs from Century 21 New Millennium in the Annapolis office. And Janet's gonna talk about her listing at 4490 Woodview Lane. But before we go there, I'd like to talk about a few, a, a few of the words, <laughs> I'd like to say a few words about Janet. She has 15 years in the business and numerous real estate designations, including certified residential specialist, ex accredited buyer's representative, and military relocation professional, to name just a few. Janet has received several Century 21 Distinction Awards, including the Ruby, Emerald, Diamond, and very exclusive Centurion Award. It's a good thing that I was reading this because you'd have never guessed. <laughs> anyway, now that I have that out of the way, let's go over to Janet. Hi, Janet. Hi. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. Been busy today with buyers and sellers. Yeah, yeah. I, I, the market's heating up, which is a good thing, right? You know, we're getting into the spring market, I think a little early, actually. We just need more inventory. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I can. You, we definitely need more inventory because I need more clients to go out and take photos of their, of their fantastic properties. And speaking of fantastic properties, we have one here. Um, or you have one actually at 4490 Woodview Lane in Prince Frederick. Why don't you tell yes. us a little bit about this property? This uh, property has four levels. It's a split level, four levels. It has four bed, four bedrooms, three baths. Oh, just a second, it's Janet. Let me. I'm sorry. Let me. Uh, I forgot to put the listing um, uh, slideshow up. So if you wouldn't mind starting again. Okay. Just. It has four, uh, well, right it has, um, yeah, okay. go ahead and just start four. it. Okay, four, that was bedrooms my fault. And three, four bedrooms and three baths. It is a four level, split level house sitting on 1.44 acres, uh, approximately 1592 square feet, and it was built in 1994. Okay, well, um, anyway, as I had mentioned earlier, I am a real estate uh, photographer and I helped Janet market this home because I am her photographer. Um, one of the things that, uh, um, that I, I, I liked about the home um, was the fact that it had a cathedral ceiling, but that's just what I like. Janet, why don't you tell us um, what, uh, give, me, give us your impressions of the house. Well, there's several things that I really like about the house. It does have a galley style eat-in kitchen. Uh, the owner has put in new flooring and it's really beautiful. Well, that kitchen also has a pass-through into the living area. Um, for the exterior, it is a very private setting with woodlands all around. It does have a nice sunrise deck in the back and a front porch in the front for your early morning coffee, if you like. Uh, there's a shed for storage. The lowest level of the property does have a built-in bar, which is great for entertaining. Yeah, I and really, I, I, just to interrupt a little bit, um, I did yeah. like that lower level. Um, I, it, it was so far away from the house. It had the, uh, the wet bar, as you said. And when I was taking the photos of that, I'm like, I envisioned it to be like a really great place for me to put my computers or you could even use it as a man cave or a she shed or hobbies or crafts. It was just a great space. And I agree with you. It, it does have a, a, you can use that room for a lot of different things. Plus the nicely sized bedrooms on the third level, there's a family room too and, and a full bath and another bedroom. Yeah, yeah. Because, because you said the, bed, the uh, home has three ba bathrooms, right? Three full bathrooms. Three full bathrooms. That's correct. Yeah. Um. Is there anything one, else? One. Well, one of the bedroom bathrooms is in the master suite, which is right. nice. It has an ensuite bath. And also had sliding glass doors that I guess you could put a future balcony. Well, there is a deck out there, out back, uh, which is a sunrise deck, and it's real nice. And there's a there is a sliding glass doors in the master bedroom also. Yeah. You could put uh, you could put a nice balcony out there for your early morning coffee or just. Gazing at the stars in the evening, if you like. Well, you know, the house has cathedral ceilings. I really like cathedral ceilings because it just opens up the, the rooms, and it definitely opens up the, the living room and the kitchen and the dining area. Wouldn't you agree? I agree, yes. More of an open floor plan on that level. Y yeah. 
and and another thing and i don't know about any i love uh, what anyone else thinks but i love palladium windows and it has two in the front two bedrooms uh, i just think they open up the space they're large they like they they, they let in a lot of light a lot of sunrise a uh, sunrise a lot of sun it, they they're just great windows so i like that about mm -hmm. the home too there's a lot of natural flowing um light that comes into this property yeah the the main the main window was a triple pane it had a large window and then two we would call them what side 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 lights side, side lights, lights. But i don't know if you call mm -hmm. them that in a for a living room uh, window um so is there anything else you would like to say about this property I would. Uh, this property is an easy commute to D.C. You can either take the public, the buses that they've got or by car. Also, it's not far from Andrews Air Force Base. I'm bowling a couple, you know, there's a lot of military bases close by. Um, and this property is close to schools. Uh, Calvert County has got great schools, library. We have great libraries, restaurants, and shopping. Prince Frederick is the heart of Calvert County. There's an indoor pool there and all kinds of other amenities it's just it's the most the northernmost cypress swamp is in this area along with flag ponds and calvert cliffs there's all kinds of fun things to do you can go to the beach um and you can go to chesapeake beach we have uh, a market coming up in april that they have every friday night with uh, some wineries so we have our local wineries come it's a nice place to live. Right. It sounds it. Well, it sounds it because I live here and, and, I, and I agree with everything you said. Now, you have an open house coming up this weekend, don't you? I do. It's on Saturday, April 7th from 11 to 1 p.m. Wonderful. I, well, I okay. encourage everybody to come and, and visit. Right. And did something about the uh, other agents? Yes, I honor all agents. Anybody who wants oh. to, uh, any agent who wants to send their clients, please feel free to do so. And they are their clients, not mine. So okay. I honor all agents. Oh, I understand. Yep. Okay, that makes sense. All right, guys. So if you are interested in look, taking a look at this home, Janet will be there this Saturday from 12 to 1 o'clock. If you have any friends. 11 to 1. 11 to 1. Oh, I can't keep getting this wrong. 11 o'clock to 1 o'clock. And if you have any friends that you think might be interested in the home, why don't you send them over or better yet, take them with you. Thanks so, a lot, Roger. Yeah. I have to see you all. Okay, uh, just one thing. I'll list all of the information in for this open house in the comments below. And um, I hope you guys liked this video and, and, and got some information from it. And as always, have a great day. <laughs>